Yes, sir. Got her in. This that 2019 Jeep Compass. The Trail Hawk Edition, though. You know, see that? Yeah, sir. So, so we taking the delivery for this joint. I'm gonna let y'all see what the inside look like. Interior clean. Leather seats with the stitching. And then this reason why I was really rocking with the 2019. I'll show you the interior. You know what I'm saying? You see it's got the car play in there so you can hands up display. But then you got, you know, good seating in the back. Pretty spacious trunk. You know what I'm saying? Red stitching everywhere, trail rated badge. Straight. So you know, hey, it's go time. Gonna put this on the app. See how it do. That wide angle, man. They ain't so brand new, she still got the little paperwork on. Yeah, but you know the trunk. Trunk, I got my own stuff back there right now. But, but yeah, trunk straight, everything good, good size. She drive good too. So yeah, as you see, you know, we're taking, got this thing in here. And, uh, and man, just the plan with this, we gonna list it on Turo. It's pretty decent on gas uh, so far that I've seen. I mean, I, I had it a day, two days, for real. A couple things I got to get done. And I'm just probably trying to share some of the pricing on some of this stuff. But I got to get like a key fob made, uh, which is going to be like 250 just to have a spare. Um, I'm going to plan a couple tracking devices in here so I can keep tabs on it. And then, you know, I had to pay the cost to get, uh, I had to get some insurance on the whip. A lot of times you don't necessarily have to, depending on, on where you at. But for me, I just went ahead and got my own personal uh, business policy, fleet policy, however you want to call it, for the whip, so. You know, so I don't got, I don't got to be worried about nothing. But my, my thing was I'm gonna be driving it like I am now, getting it ready, in between trips, all this other stuff. You know, you're gonna be moving back and forth with it. So, so that was just my thing was, well, let me go ahead and, and cop the insurance. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I did, and then what else I needed to get ready. Uh, I'll probably give it a, a little wash. Probably give it a little wash over. I washed it one time, but there's still some spots on the back that I'm trying to get off. And then I just took some little regular, regular pictures on my phone. That's why I was up on that on that parking deck like that. But uh, man, what I'm really trying to do is get like a a legit photographer to snap, take some snapshots for me. Uh, I seen somebody on live for like 150, but I'm gonna see. A, I'm gonna see if my homie I can't take no pictures, and I just try and edit them or something online, and uh, you know, kind of go from there. Try and keep these costs down. So once you get in, you know, it's just straight, straight money that's coming back in to you. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, for the most part, bro, we're we going to see. I'm going uh, to keep documenting everything that happened. And, uh, and yeah, we're going to go from there. Also, when I got the car, uh, I mentioned it in a prior video, but I don't know. The audio might have been fucked up or what. But um, I went through my homie here, a broker, car dealer, whatever they call it, out here in Atlanta. 
you know what I'm saying? So great pricing, great pricing on that. Um, you know, if you need you need a whip, man, hit up Max Out Auto. Did the finance and everything through them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then two, if you in Atlanta, hit me. You know, we're doing long-term rentals, business trips, you know, it's cheaper pricing than probably what you're gonna get on Turo. You just hit me up, so let's run it. You know what I'm saying? You just need to have your insurance. Have your own insurance, and we good. To, we good to go. Uh, but yeah. So, so man. Um, you know, we just gonna we gonna see what's going on, man. How how I really want to play it. Uh. The idea is to really continue to grow out the fleet from an economy car perspective um, and then kind of see what these returns look like. Based on the ROIs from all the numbers that I, I've been doing, you know, we should we should be in the, in the dough for sure. Uh, just, just from a, a returns perspective, you know what I'm saying? It should, everything lined up, so. We'll see, man. I keep y'all posted, like I said, but you know, we'll, we'll see what's going on, man. We'll see, we'll see. You know, that's what they always say. We gonna see, we gonna see. We'll monitor the situation. <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, man. Peace. Let's do it.